like only yesterday, we started to visit the build site for Pier 1's newest data center in Toronto, Canada. Now, months later, Pier 1 is officially opened to shiny new doors for business. What was once an empty shell is now a state-of-the-art data center. So now that we have the building set up and ready to go, it's time to put something in it, right? And here's where it all happens. It's the staging room where the guys build the servers, they're built, configured, and then deployed to the data center. In other words, this is kind of where the magic happens. As we make our way through the data center, we head up this ramp to the raised floor 36-inch concrete core raised tiles. And what do we have here? Oh, it's a Pier 1 technician in his natural habitat. Hello! Moving through the data center, we head down the main corridor. Eventually, the plan is to knock out that back wall you see to add more pods when more come online. Only just a few short months ago, this main corridor looked like this. It's been really interesting to see the development of the data center over the past months. Take a look at the progression of pod A. It went from this to this and then eventually a fully functioning data center just over 4,600 square feet. There's plenty of room for potential customers so if you know anyone who's looking for a data center in Toronto, Canada, well now you know who to call. typical aisle. You've got your half racks on the right and then your full racks on the left. A few months ago the maintenance aisle was near completion and it didn't take long for them to install the brand new crack units as you can see on your left. As the build out continues more units are going to be added. Now the foundation for the development of this data center is based on what Pier 1 has learned from past experiences. August of 2009, this is what the Pier 1 data center looked like. Not much to look at really, but over time, throughout late fall, things started to change. They made the well, they developed the infrastructure to support what they planned on building over the next coming months, and come winter time, things had really started to take shape. The mechanical yard has definitely seen the most change since the beginning of the process. tower back in December of 2009. As you can see, it was in place, but not yet functioning. Now, it's complete with two 500-ton condensers, and the plan is to add on to it as the data center grows. They'll just keep adding 500-ton towers to it all in kind of a train-like sequence. inside the generator enclosure. Currently there's two generators, but eventually there will be six in total. The generator enclosure is outside, which makes it safer and more convenient. In the completed chiller room, we see chiller A, a 500 ton chiller. The chillers are cooled by the condensers and chill the water going through the AC units. The AC units take that chilled water, run it through a coil, and blow a fan on it. 
The fan is pushing the hot air in the data center over the cold coil, so it's sending back warm water to the chiller, the chillers are cooling it, and the cooling towers are cooling the chiller. And there you have it, a fully functional operating data center. Oh, and not to be forgotten, some extra perks of being a Pier 1 customer. You've got this swanky waiting area where you can chill out, maybe read a book, and they also have a kitchenette. Look at this, you don't even have to bring your own tea or coffee. As a matter of fact, you can maybe even entertain a date while checking your servers, hmm? Thanks to everyone at Pier 1 for letting our cameras inside the building of the newest data center in Toronto, Canada. For more information on this data center and others, please visit pier1.com. Yes, four o'clock and I'm still rocking. Four, 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 four o'clock and I'm still rocking. Uh -huh.